Hi there. This is Sandra Scott Revel, short story writer and fabric artist. I have always admired art, all types of art, but released any dreams of being an artist when as a child, my well-crafted drawing was rejected. Believing that proved my lack of abilities, I admired visual art, but from a distance. As an adult and school teacher, my classroom was decorated with innumerable colorful scenes on bulletin boards and even across the walls to the delight of my students. Every February, Black history was celebrated, though none of my students were Black. I shared stories of well-known African Americans and filled the room with handmade decorations and colorful images. And it's funny that I created art for years but did not consider myself an artist. The tipping point to my creative journey was the death of my adoptive mother. I planned to delve into writing and share about her unique life, but instead was directed to black history devotions. I gathered information from slave narratives and wrote short stories by layering together their precious words, their dreams and desires. The stories were heartbreaking but I think for sure needed to be told. Since I'm a visual person, the desire to add visuals to partner with their words welled up within me. How to accomplish this became a question since I didn't draw or paint. About that time, a woman in my neighborhood donated seven large bins of upholstery fabric to me. I was thrilled with the colors, patterns, and textures. Fabric was to be my medium. Equipped with only basic sewing skills learned on my mother's antique sewing machine and the knowledge of simple hand embroidery, I merged storytelling with stitches to release my art form. I had no idea what to do with the art and stories, but moved forward anyway. People began to express interest. My first major exhibit was at the George Bush Library and Museum in Dallas, Texas. Another major exhibit was this year, 2023, at the Kaufman Center for Performing Arts in Kansas City. This was in collaboration with the yearly theater production of The Underground. I also love the one-on-one -on -one experience of smaller venues as well. I now recognize and take seriously my gifts as a self-taught fabric artist and short story writer and with no formal training, I work with my hands with delight. It means so much to show and tell the stories of common people from a dark time in our nation's history. These former slaves I call the lesser known lights in the vast heavens of black history. Their stories may bring tears to your eyes, cause shock, instill hope, or make you smile when they experience victory. Having fun is also on my plate. The Elements Collection was my fun way of expressing the foundational elements all around us, but often taken for granted. Do you have a favorite? I think of myself as an earthy girl, so earth is my favorite, but I enjoyed creating all these ladies. I am currently working on light. What do you think she will look like? To the side of each panel, you will see thoughts and poems by friends of mine. What comes to mind when you look at water, earth, air, and fire? I hope you enjoy both collections. They are so different, but both enlightening. Also, if you have a gift, use it. Express yourself. There are those waiting to experience what has been placed within you.